Welcome! In this video we will cover firmware upgrades for Fusion and Compact Fusion SCR power controllers. Control Concepts releases firmware upgrades either to enhance features on the controller or to correct firmware errors. If there is a critical firmware flaw, we will make our best efforts to contact our original customers so they can update the firmware on their controllers. Customers may also contact Control Concepts to suggest firmware enhancements. These suggestions are reviewed and prioritized by the factory, and not all suggestions can be implemented. Furthermore, some enhancements will only be available on new controllers, although we make our best efforts to make firmware backward compatible. It's important that you only upgrade firmware on a controller when directed by control concepts. Ignoring this warning could leave your controller in an unusable state. If the factory directs you to upgrade firmware, we will send you a link to download the correct hex file. You can then access and upload the file using the Fusion Control Panel software, provided free with your controller. To download a new firmware file, connect to your powered controller with a USB cable and open the Control Panel program. Then click the Connect button on the left-hand side of the screen. Here, take note of your software ID and version number. In this case, the software ID is 22. We're using firmware version 3.61, and we need to upgrade to version 3.70. First, save a config file to ensure that you can return to your previous settings. Then click the firmware button. Navigate to the hex file provided by the factory and confirm that the number matches your software ID and the new firmware version number, in our case 22 and 370. You will not be able to select a file with a software ID that doesn't match. If you receive an error message like this one, contact the factory for a compatible firmware file. Once you've selected the right file, click Open, and a green bar will appear here, indicating that the file is loading. The controller display will also change to this screen. It's extremely important that you don't disconnect power from your controller or your computer at this step. The progress bar might not reflect the real-time progress of the firmware upgrade, so don't be concerned or disconnect power in an attempt to restart. Simply wait for the display to change to this screen, indicating that the firmware upgrade is complete. If there is a problem with the upgrade, the controller will automatically recover itself, but if power is disconnected, the controller will reboot to a blank screen. In this case, contact the factory for assistance. After the firmware upgrade is complete, verify that your controller settings have persisted, as settings may have changed during the upgrade. If necessary, reload your settings from the previously saved config file. For more information, visit our website at www.cci.power.com or contact the experts at Control Concepts Incorporated.